Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I am here today with another Tuesday tutorial. Um, and I have to confess to you that although I have a project, I um, haven't actually put it together yet. It's more of like an idea. Um, you know, crafting is a process. So um, it's an idea. I have it prepped. I just haven't actually seen the final product yet. So I'm really hoping that this works out for me. Um, I'm going to be using the Butterfly Gala stamp set. We're going to be using this butterfly guy here and the thank you so very much sentiment. I'm also using the Coordinating Duet Butterfly Punch. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring um, my things over. So this is DSP from the Celebration catalog. So if you purchase $50 or more retail, you can receive this pack of paper for free. It is gorgeous paper. Let me pull the stack over and I'll show you guys. Um, you get, it's a 12 by 12 stack of paper and you get all of these two prints of all these gorgeous, I don't know, I just love them. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Um, okay, like this. And it is double-sided, so you also get the back side, which is a little bit more of a, like, I really love this one. This one's pretty. It makes me think of watermelon for some reason. I know that that's black and pink are not watermelon, but that's what it makes me think of. Um, anywho, so that's the back side. Really, really pretty paper. Lots of paper to be able to do lots of stuff with. Um, so keep that in mind if you are shopping with me today. Um, $50 retail or more, you can purchase this beautiful DSP. Okay, I'm gonna set some things aside. Um, I'm gonna start with, haha, uh -huh, what am I gonna start with? Let's start with our envelope, okay? I feel like that's always like a good jumping off point. Okay, so I have some Granny Apple Green ink here. I'm going to take this um, butterfly image. Um, I'm also pulling over my Granny Apple Green marker. Um, and I'm gonna grab like a piece of scrap paper. I'm sure I have some here, okay. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of scrap paper and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink up this butterfly. And then I'm going to take my scrap paper and I'm going to cover this top butterfly because I don't want that butterfly. You could use a post-it for this also. Um, I'm just doing a sample. I hope you guys can see that. I hope I'm not off camera. Okay, so I'm just stamping that there. And this way, with that scrap piece of paper, I just get the one butterfly because that's, that's all I wanted. Okay, and then I'm using my marker because I want to draw in the body of the butterfly. Um, on this stamp set, there is this little tiny baby butterfly body. Um, I lost it. I don't know where it went. I don't know if I left it stuck on a stamp one day, if I completely just threw it away with something. Like, I have no idea. It's just gone. So we're using my markers to color that in. Okay, I'm taking this um, ESP and I'm just gonna cover the little um, flap of the envelope with my adhesive. Take some adhesive. Get started. So just putting it as close to the top as I can. And then over here on the bottom of the flap, kind of get up. Hold my, pop my envelope up a little bit with the flap still flat. And then I'm just gonna tuck this right here into this seam. Okay, that'll go right there. I'm gonna grab my snips and I'm just gonna cut along the flap of the envelope. Like so. Sorry if it's really loud in the background, guys. My husband is home today. He took a couple days off. My husband always takes the couple days off after um, Super Bowl because he watches the game and the game comes on late. He typically works a really early morning schedule. So he gives himself that little bit of time so that he can enjoy the game and, you know, just have some extra time with us, which is always nice. But 
you know, he's louder than the actual children, so sorry for that. Okay, so here's our little envelope there. Gorgeous, right? Okay, moving on to our card. I'm gonna take, this is more Granny Apple Green. It's already cut and scored, so I'm just gonna fold it in half, use my bone folder to get a really good varnish there. And this is just some, um, what is this? This is just some basic white. And um, let me see, should we stamp a butterfly inside also? Um, yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Granny Apple Green again. We're gonna go ahead and do it in green. That way it's, you know, same, 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 same. Um, okay, I'm gonna ink this guy up. And I'm gonna bring that scrap piece of paper over again because I'm gonna do the same thing. I don't want that top butterfly. So, give myself some working room here. Just gonna hold it like that. Like that. Perfect. I love stamping. Like every time I stamp and I get that really good, crisp image like this, I just feel like I can do anything. I can do it. And it's gonna be great and amazing. And I'm capable of accomplishing things. Okay, a little bit more adhesive on the back here. Okay, and then we'll put this inside here. And I do want to put it this way. I know that when I shared with you guys, I think Friday or Tuesday, I had made my project in a different orientation than I had wanted to, but this time I know. I know that I do want it to be horizontal. Okay, so there's that. And then I have this uh, Flirty Flamingo and some more of this DSP. We're gonna flip the DSP over, put some adhesive there. Okay, and this is just, this is five and a quarter by four, and then the Flirty Flamingo is an eighth of an inch bigger, so it just adds just a really pretty little border frame around it like so. We're going to flip this over, and we're going to put some adhesive on the back here, and then we're going to put this guy right on top, and this again is just an eighth of an inch smaller than our actual card front, that flirty flamingo, so it's an eighth of an inch going onto each layer, okay? So there we go, so we have this so far. Um, now I'm going to take a strip of Whisper White. This is just basic white. I'm going to take the butterfly again. And this time I'm going to stamp the butterfly in three different colors. Um, I'm going to stamp it in Flirty Flamingo. That's going to tie in a little bit of that background border. And this is just a piece of uh, scrap paper that I cut at one and a half inches. So I'm just going to put the butterfly here and I'm not worried about that top butterfly getting cut off because um, I still don't want to use it. You could also totally cut your stamps. Um, I've done that in the past also. You could just chop this little top butterfly off um, and then it would be okay. You could still use them together later on. You would just have to place them together on your stamp. Um, that's definitely an option. I am... Um, I'm just choosing to do it this way today and um, because honestly I don't know if I want those separated so okay and now I'm using the mango melody and I'm just gonna stamp him right next to the other butterfly just stamp okay. cleaning my stamp one more time this and then we're gonna stamp our last butterfly in Bermuda Bay like this and stamp them right there and cleaning that off okay moving to the side I'm just gonna put this away really quick while I have it out because as I shared earlier 
I have lost stamps before and it just works better for me to put things away as I'm walking and doing things. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna take my Butterfly Duet Punch. Um, it closes like so. I'm gonna pop it open so that I can punch. And I'm just gonna start by lining up this butterfly right there in the punch and just punch him out. And I'm gonna go along and do all three of these. Mm -hmm. and one more. Okay. Like that. Ah. Okay. Had to pull that out. That's stuck in my punch. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab all my little bits here and again I'm gonna use my markers to color in my bodies. So just using my Bermuda Bay. Like that. I definitely would prefer having the stamp to it, but this works. And one more little pink body. I was going to try just not doing the body at all, but um, the punch allows for the body, so it looked a little awkward to me. Okay, we're going to put these pieces here. We're going to put three, but before we do that, I'm just going to kind of like... I'm going to take a pen. I'm going to take a pen and I'm just going to kind of like wrap this butterfly around the pen. And that's just going to give him a little bit of texture. So he's not just laying flat on that paper. Okay. And I know that looks like really crazy. And you're like, how is that going to fit in the envelope? But it will. It will because they're not going to be this puffy. They just seem this puffy. Okay. So we're going to do those. We're going to put this here. And then I haven't decided. Um, okay, we're going to put the three here. And I think. I think I'm going to slide this up a little bit. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something totally different. So this is, what, five and a quarter by one and a half inch. And I'm actually going to cut it a different size, I decided. Um, where is, let me find myself a scrap of Granny Apple Green so that I can do what I want to do. Okay, so this is just a scrap piece of Granny Apple Green that I pulled over from my drawer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this. This is about an inch... Yeah, this is about an inch, and then that was about an inch and a half, so we need like two and a half inches. So I'm taking my paper trimmer, and I'm just going to measure this at two and a half inches, like so. And then I want to make sure that it's still five and a quarter, which it's not. So trim that. Okay. Like this. Put that here out of the way okay and this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thank you so very much I'm gonna stamp in memento black I'm just gonna ink him up really good and I'm gonna stamp him here on the bottom right try to get it straight like that okay. I think that looks good this guy away and then I'm gonna pull out some dimensionals this time um, I'm gonna pull out some black dimensionals I know that usually we use white but there's no white on this project aside from the insert where we can um... well let me see let me see let me see because there's also the butterflies are also white so you know there's that all right let me see. I was thinking that I could use black dimensionals to adhere these guys. Um. <laughs> I 
This is so cute, right? Okay. So I'm gonna smash them down a little bit so that they're not quite so fluffy. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna stagger these a little bit so that there's room for everybody. Does that work? Hmm, yeah, I think I'm gonna stagger this way. I'm gonna stagger it like this. I think staggered, yes? Yes, we're gonna stagger them. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use just some regular white dimensionals. I'm gonna go ahead and use mini ones. Um, and I'm just gonna put one mini dimensional right on the back. Just like this, okay? I'm going to start with these butterflies on the outside. Just removing the black and I'm then, or the back, I should say. And I'm just going to start with these kind of outer butterflies. Okay, so there's that guy there. And remove the backing off of this butterfly. And we'll put this guy here. And then I'll put this guy last, right, kind of in the middle there. Um, okay. And I'm going to put him, like, right there. And he looks really crowded to that. For me, the one doesn't. Okay. I'm trying again. There. Maybe not so crowded now. Okay, we probably should have put adhesive on the back before we did those dimensionals, but I really wanted to stage them out and know what I was doing. Okay, so I'm just running adhesive on the back of this guy here. I knew that was gonna need me to start it. Okay, so I'm just running two little pieces. And then we're just gonna center this right in the middle. There we go. Okay, just applying some pressure, making sure that everything gets adhered really well. Okay, there is our card. Where did my envelope go? I had it here. I know I did, because I made it with you guys. Ah, there it is. Okay, here we go. Here is today's project. Ta-da! I love it, it's so cute. Okay, see, so. Um, like I said at the start of this video, I knew I had a concept. I just hadn't actually put it together and come to fruition. You saw I adjusted. I had this little one and a half inch piece and I adjusted to make sure that I could include my sentiment after all. I had originally thought that I would do like a little banner or something, but I changed my mind and I'm so happy I did. It came out beautifully. All right, guys, I hope that you are all having a wonderful start to your week, and I will see you here on Friday at 10 a.m. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, please hit the like button and subscribe for um, new videos as they come. Um, and make sure you get all the latest information from me at inkylittletreasures.com. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you Friday. Bye.